Hello everyone, my name is Miriam Maritala, the founder of Canada Vendors. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Journey. The Entrepreneur Journey is a mini series that showcases the struggles and achievements of small business owners across communities in Canada. And today's edition, we have a fantastic entrepreneur. She is the founder of two great brands. Um, it's called The Fusion Ola and Extra Steps CEO. She is our entrepreneur on the seat on today's edition of the Entrepreneur Journey. And we have her here. And how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me today. We're so, we're so happy that you're here today to talk about your journey through and the it's, entrepreneurship. It's such an honor, I would say. Yeah. Thank you so much. So we'd like to get started. So can you introduce yourself? Thank you so much. My name is Fumiola Folari, and I'm the creative brain, I would say, behind Fusionola. It's an air accessory business that's in Kitchener Waterloo. So it's a Canada-based small business. And um, I am an internationally trained lawyer, still going through my licensing journey to practice here in Canada. I'm a Nigerian, uh, I should put that as well. <laughs> oh, that's great, yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> and also about the second brand as well. Yeah, and my second brand is my YouTube channel where I talk and share about the journey of an immigrant here in Canada small businesses that you can do or you can make money online you know everything that brings an extra income to your table that's what i share on my youtube channel that's great so our next question will be um, what inspired you to start this brand okay uh, the first brand i started was my air accessory business i just would say i got tired of going into stores and seeing plain colors and i just thought about the fact that oh there could be a fusion of culture and trend and that was how my business came about i just um, wanted something that would represent the black and something that would speak african that's great and you know something that you wouldn't just go into a store and see plain colors you know and my um, my brand or my air accessories add colors like it completes your look with whatever it is that you want to go um out with in the day it just makes you stand up from the crowd it gives you that different touch so that's my inspiration is just saying something different on people well that's great and you know every entrepreneurial journey it's always a uh, it starts with an inspiration to create something unique to solve a solution yes. and that takes us to the next question and can you talk about challenges you faced in this line of business as an entrepreneur the first challenge i would say was getting the fabrics you know, as the community that we are in, for me to get African fabric was um, an order in, in starting, but that did not limit me anyway. So I just went online and searched for where I could get African fabrics here in Canada. And I got um, somewhere around Brampton, and that was like 40 minutes drive from where I stay. Then I got some from AliExpress. So the first challenge I had was getting the fabrics. And afterwards, uh, I got someone else in my community that sells fabric, so that was a bit of <laughs> ease for wow. me. Then the second challenge I would say was getting it out to the world for people to see, getting people to buy into it. Like, okay, anyone would say, I can go into a Dollarama and buy it, so what's so unique? So I had to talk to them and let them say, you know, people, as a business owner, I'm not just out for the profitability. That's not my major um, issue, but I'm out to solve a problem. And so many people don't know they have this problem until you let them know that you have a solution. Like, mm. I just want them to know that, oh, you have to stand out. Okay, fine, you can buy it anywhere. You can walk into a Dollarama store and get it. But I am selling a unique item that would make you stand out so that you don't look like everyone that gets it from a dollar store. That's great. So I think... Those were the major orders that I had to face, but it's expected anyway. Oh, I can imagine. So one of our inspirations um, on Canada vendors, it's about entrepreneurship being a symbol of empowerment. So what does uh, being an entrepreneur means to you? Uh, it gives me a sense of responsibility that I have to wake up and get on the grind. You know, the way it is, I am uh, more accountable for my actions. I know that if I don't do this, then I don't, um, there's no sustainability, there's no money on the table. So entrepreneurship to me is more like an, a wake-up call to 
take the bull by the horn and know that, yes, you are responsible for this. You are accountable to whoever it is that is in your... <clears throat> you are accountable to um, people that you need to be accountable for. Yeah, so that's what the entrepreneurship means to me. And to me, it is, it is not just a means to an end. It is a journey. You start it and... You, it is what you put into the journey that you get. Absolutely. So that's what it means to me. Basically. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fantastic. And also, you know, during enter during the entrepreneurial journey, people go through the highs, the lows. There is always people looking to start a business. So what advice would you have for prospective entrepreneurs? And advice. also entrepreneurs in existence as well. The first advice, let, let's deal with it people still thinking about it is if you have any business idea put it down in papers that's where you now start talking about your business plan and by the time you sit down with your business plan you will know how to strategize and to achieve this so whatever idea that you've got don't limit yourself like for example when I started I thought of oh how will I get my sewing machine how will I go about this thing but I did not make that stop me I knew this is what I wanted to do. I knew how to go about it. It's more like a passion. So I just, when I went out to get a sewing machine, it was expensive, it was beyond my budget. I did not let that stop me. I rather went into thrift stores to look for something that I could afford and that is still in good condition. And I got one. That's great. You know, yeah. so if I had looked at it, that, oh, I went into Walmart, it's about $300, I cannot afford this. But the thought just came to my mind that when there is a way um, there, there's always a means, so go after the means if you have that way. So I went into a thrift store and I got something and I've been using it for over a year now. Wow, that's, yeah. that's great. Yeah, and I got it less than $100. So it's it's just starting. We are all limited by starting. Yep. If we forget about the starting point and just start, just write down your plan, have a strategy to achieve your plan yep. and go after it and wow. build a community as you grow. Absolutely. It, uh, entrepreneurship something journey is not something you can achieve by yourself. You alone. need a community to grow. And don't be too tired of asking for help. Don't be Welcome too tired to of Xp. sharing you your struggles. Because, yeah, I can say it's a journey. And uh, for every journey, there, there are struggles. There are times Absolutely. you want to stop. There are times you feel like, is it worth it? There have been times that I sit down and imagine, is this what it? Why not just face your law? But at the same time, I know that I want to be empowered. At the same time, I know that these are extra ways to make money. Yes, absolutely. So those, yep. there, there, there should always be a driving force. And for everyone that is in the journey already, I can tell you, I won't sit down here and tell you that, oh, I have it all put together. There are days I don't feel like doing anything. There are days that I just want to shut it down and say... Well, it's not worth it anyway. Oh. But when I sit down and look at my reason, my why, why did I start? I want to beautify people. Absolutely. I want people to know that, yeah, as an African community, we have something to show the world. Mm, so that keeps me going. And, good. you know, the fear of, oh, I'm not doing anymore. It's, it's a fear that you're not showing me. Like, what will people say? You, you are out in the world. So if you say you are stopping now, yep. what excuse will you give people? So that's what I want to tell whoever is going through the entrepreneurship journey. Don't be deceived by it is an easy task. It is not easy. No mm -hmm. entrepreneur will tell you it's easy. Nobody. Well, maybe those that, even those that you think. No, are no journey is easy in already, life. Yeah, absolutely. No journey is easy in life. Yeah, they have what they are still going through. Okay. So, that's my own piece of advice for yeah. so anyone going through the entrepreneurship journey. And for anyone that wants to start, I would encourage you to start. We can't all continue with a nine-to-five job. Well, there's nothing Without having nine extra five, income, yeah. But then we need extra income. Well, the last one year has taught us that we, we need, need extra, extra income. income for whatever Absolutely. it is. What, we learned that lesson. Yes. So that, and that's why I talk about it on my um, YouTube channel because so many people would think, oh, it's not possible. I make money online. I do a lot of focus mm -hmm. group and yeah. I get paid. So I really want to share this to the world. Like, it's something you can do. If nobody takes the bull by the horn, yeah. then you cannot achieve it. So Absolutely. Mindset shift, it is achievable. It's it something is. you can do. You wear a thousand hats. Nobody dies by wearing 1,000 hats. It only gets you stronger. So that's, that's my word for anyone going through the journey of entrepreneurship. Oh, that's or great. Anyone 
thinking about coming like the world is big enough thank for you everyone. so much yeah thank you so much for this fantastic tips i've learned so much from what you've just relayed out about um advice for prospective entrepreneurs and uh, um, entrepreneurs already in the business um so um okay the series entrepreneurial journey which we've launched on canada vendors so this is two in one question so what do you think about the series that you're part of you're part of one of the inaugural guests on this series and also canada vendors as a platform as well well, I would say um, Canada Vendor was one of the platforms I met when I knew um, I wanted to start a journey and I was unsure of how to go about it. So uh, I can say this is a platform that is all out there for small businesses in our community. And it is a way for you to um, showcase whatever it is you're selling to the world. So this is a great platform. I really appreciate what you're doing in Thank the you. And I do not mind what by telling you that you're doing a great job. Thank you so Continue. much. Continue. Do not stop for any reason. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so you so much. Canada Bendo, I've been a, a beneficiary of um, the platform in so many ways. Yeah. Thank you so much. And the series as well, the Entrepreneurial Series. Wow. What, um, is what do you feel about like, it? It's it some fantastic. Okay. It's, it's they're going through the right steps. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate this feedback. I was so happy to have you here to talk about your journey. And um, we always say that um, it's imperative in our community that we share our journey yeah. so the world can hear us and know what we go through behind the scene to run sustainable businesses yeah. across communities in Canada. Thank you so much. Um, so we've been talking to the founder of Fishanola and Extra Step CEO on the series, The Entrepreneurial Journey. So we're so excited and we can't wait to launch this on YouTube. So if you are following us on social media, we need to we need you to follow us on YouTube as well and on Facebook and also check out our YouTube page and website. Thank you so much. Bye.